This video will demonstrate step by step how to flush a mold from start to finish. The same process can be replicated for heat exchangers, portable chillers, thermalators, chill rolls, and most other auxiliary equipment running water through them. Please note, it is important that you do not add water to the chemical as it will become diluted and no longer be effective. During operation, please use safety glasses and gloves. It is important and recommended to flush your mold to clear the lines of any water prior to flushing with EcoPro 360. The first eight steps in this tutorial explain how to do this using the EcoPro 360 cart. However, you can use whatever existing equipment you have in your facility to clear the lines. Attach appropriate couplings to both the inlet and outlet main lines. Connect the inlet and outlet lines to their respective connections on your mold. Connect air supply to blow out air fitting. Turn valve on the top of the cart to blow out. Bypass the filter by turning the knob on top of the filter housing counterclockwise. It will be perpendicular to the housing. Place the filter out line in a bucket or other receptacle to collect water. Slowly turn air valve labeled blow out air until air starts to flush the water from your mold. Disconnect your air. Connect air supply to pump air. Direct flow through the filter by turning the knob on top of the filter housing clockwise to align with tubing. Turn the valve on top of the cart to pump. Insert eco inlet tube into the drum containing the material. Connect filter out to the opposite side of the drum containing the material. Slowly turn the air valve labeled pump air until the pump starts pumping. It is recommended that you flush for a minimum of one hour, although times will vary based on the condition of your cooling passages. Once you're done flushing, pull the supply line labeled Eco Inlet from the drum containing the material and let the pump run for a few seconds to clear the lines. Then. Connect your air supply to blow out air. Turn the valve on top of the cart to blow out and blow out any excess EcoPro 360 so that it returns to the tank. Please note, if you're flushing a mold with aluminum lines or a closed mold with brass inserts or any other type of non-ferrous metals and or rubber components, you'll need to back flush with water to break the chemical residue down. Be sure to blow out as much chemical as you can by bypassing the filter as described in step four and flush with water. You'll want to do this for a minimum of 10 minutes.